Hi, my name is Dr. Fani Filun and I'm an uh, obstetric anesthetist at Amada. And this is Dr. Sarah McGuire, who's a fellow obstetric anesthetist at Amada. Today we will be answering some questions that um, is frequently asked um, and that we receive about epidurals um, to support information available to new mums. We plan to break down some of the most common myths and misconceptions when it comes to epidurals to help inform our patients. An epidural is a way of delivering sustained, strong pain relief during labour that can be tailored to your needs. An epidural is an injection of local anaesthetic and low doses of strong pain relief into the epidural space, which is the space just before and around your spinal nerves in your lower back. This will block the pain sensations from the uterine contractions and your cervix dilation so they can't be felt. A fine plastic tube called an epidural catheter is then left in this space so more medication can be given to the space as required without receiving another injection. An epidural is then able to keep you comfortable for the duration of your labour. Every birth is different but it's common and natural to experience some degree of discomfort during your labour. Your midwife and obstetrician will help you to manage mild and moderate birthing pain. But if you need stronger, longer lasting relief or require a cesarean delivery, they'll invite an anaesthetist to join your birthing team. Before you receive your epidural, your anaesthetist will inject some local anaesthetic into the skin and just below to numb the area to reduce the discomfort from the epidural injection. The local anaesthetic may sting for a few seconds before the skin goes numb. Once the anaesthetic is working, women will generally just feel pressure on their back as the epidural goes in. It can take around 5 to 20 minutes to put in your epidural and another 20 to 30 minutes for epidural to give you complete pain relief. But you will often notice your pain decreasing within 10 to 15 minutes. No matter what stage of your labour, our team can work with you to provide pain relief where you need it. We work around issues to find a solution which benefits the mother and the baby. As a general rule, you can request an epidural at any stage during labour, provided there are no medical reasons that would prevent you from having one and following consultation with your midwife or obstetrician. If a cesarean delivery is necessary, your anaesthetist can use the epidural and top it up to provide anaesthesia, making your body numb to pain below the chest. Because this is a surgical procedure, the anesthesia will be a lot stronger and your anesthetist will be with you the entire time. Prior to starting your cesarean, your anesthetist will test that the epidural is working well. You can then be awake and able to see your baby just after birth and have some skin to skin after the midwife and pediatrician are happy. No. Multiple randomised controlled trials have shown that epidurals do not increase the risk of caesarean delivery. Once we remove your epidural, you should get feeling back in your legs in a matter of hours. Your midwife will assist you to get back up onto your feet safely when you're ready. If you have a C-section, it may not be until the next day. We do ask when you stand for the first time after having an epidural, you do so with the assistance of the clinical teams as you may be a bit shaky on your feet. You can safely breastfeed your baby as soon as you're ready to. The medication will not be passed to your baby at all. You may experience some short-term technical difficulties breastfeeding due to numbness and mobility, but your midwife will be able to assist you with finding the right position to help you breastfeed. We have more information available on the Mata Mothers website, including a suite of brochures about everything pregnancy and childbirth related. Visit the Mata Mothers website or brochures.mata.org.au for more information. We also encourage you to speak with your obstetrician, midwife or care provider about any questions or concerns you have. Your anaesthetist will also be happy to talk you through the process when the time comes as well.